Good morning everyone, it's Brenda Quintana here and today is a great day because today's the start of the holiday catalog and it's also the start of two months of celebration in summer. We've never had this before. Usually our celebration periods at the beginning of the year and this year they decided to do a second one. So that's good news for all of us because we get to choose a celebration reward product for every 50 or $100 we spend. So today um, on my card, I'm gonna feature two of the celebration products that are, are available and um, I hope you enjoy seeing them. Um, my card today also features a fun wobble element, um, which um, I think works really well with the, the sheep uh, and the sheep dies. So, um, uh, and I have another, well, I always have tips along the way, sometimes things that I don't even think about, um, but I do have another um, tip um, for one of the um, sheep dies that we'll use along the way. But first of all, it is also Casing Tuesday, which is the day when we take a card out of the catalog and we give it a makeover. So let's take a look at the card for today. It's this card here. And you know what? Um, this was actually a card that I selected. And the reason I selected it was, to me, it looks a little bit boring. It's a pretty card, but with that gray background, it looks a little bit... I don't know, I would say a little bit sedate. So I thought what we could do with a card is it has a lot of good bones. So I thought there was a lot of cool things that we could do um, to make that card look a lot more fun. So um, here is the sketch and this, it just gives you kind of the basic dimensions that you'll need when you're making the card. And it makes it a lot easier to actually create the card because you'll have some layers to start with. Now, if your greeting layer doesn't, or your greeting doesn't fit that specific layer, or your image doesn't fit exactly, you can like change things around and make the dimensions bigger or smaller. Um, but this just gives you a really great starting point um, for building your card. And I used it last night too, just to kind of get an idea of where everything needed to be. All right, I'm gonna just check to make sure my camera is set up and I'm gonna switch over to uh, my card making. I wanna show you my card and uh, we'll talk a little bit about celebration as we go along. All right, so here's my card and this um, card features the cute counting sheep stamp set. Look at the little guy, he's on a wobble. So he wobbles a little bit, it also, He's also like, um, it's kind of like a dimensional, except um, because it's um, kind of based on a paper spring, um, it allows allows it to wobble, so that's kind of fun. Um, and then there's a die set that goes with this called the Sheep Dies, and that's where I got the fence and the sun and um, the die to cut out my sheep so I don't have to hand cut him. So that's a really, um, fun thing and um, yeah I um, very cool products they are each separate so let's have a quick look at them they're celebration products they're both um, separate so um, the sheep dies they're these ones here so you get a cute little balloon a hat clouds um, they cut out the three sheeps this die set um, can be earned um, with a $50 purchase and this one um, counting sheep stamps that can also be earned with a $50 purchase. I want to give you one little caveat. So if you are thinking of getting both of these during celebration and depending on what your budget is um, and if you can't get them both right away I would get and you want both get the sheep dies first because they are available while supplies last. Once the supply of dies are um, used up, we won't be getting any more in because celebration is such a short period. So I suggest getting any dies that you want out of the celebration catalog first, uh, if you want them. And um, there's also one other thing, um, the Bee Dazzling 6x6 paper. It's also gorgeous, let me see. Oh. 
that I brought it over here. This paper, I've never seen glimmer paper like this before. It looks kind of, it's kind of got little individual dots side by side. It really reminds me of, um, like there's some fabric sometimes, you know, uh, New Year's Eve parties. Like it almost reminds me of that kind of glittery fabric, but it's almost like little tiny sequins on on the page. It's like really, really beautiful. So that paper um, is while supplies last. Um, and then let me just flip over here. The sheep dies are while supplies last. And also the summer shadow dies are while supplies last. The summer shadow dies match the shaded summer stamp set in the annual catalog. And I will be using them um, on another project um, or on a project in the future so that we can um, um, see them better. Actually, here's that card, that shaded summer card up there. That one was done with the stamp set and the dies together. So um, there's a lot of other cool products in this catalog and you'll be able to see all of the products if you hop on over to my blog. There's a link down below. Um, it will take you to the celebration page. And just remember, you can't order them. You can only earn them. So some of the other products that I used to make the card today could help you qualify. Uh, if you purchase those, could help you qualify for the, the sheep, the counting sheep stamp set and the sheep dies, if you like them. Two other dies that I'm using today are the Stitch with Whimsy dies. This does not cut, it just um, kind of embosses a stitching pattern. And then I'm also using the Scalloped Contour dies, which is just a really nice general die set for um, this piece right here. Okay, I think we're ready to get started and create this card. There is a little bit of die cutting on this card, so I think um, we need to stamp this sheep first because that will also be die cut. So let's do anything that we need to stamp first and then we'll die cut. So I'm just gonna use Tuxedo Black Ink. I've got a piece of basic white here and I've got my sheep mounted on a block. I'm gonna stamp the sheep right here in the center. Oh. Look at that. I didn't do a very good job. And you know what? Honestly, I, I could use the back side of this paper, but I'm just going to not scrub white paper here in a bin. Let me just pick out another one. I did not stamp that very well. Sometimes I just use the back side of things, but because this is just regular basic white, I don't want it to show through. So let me do... This is take two. I'm gonna be pay a bit more attention. There we go. That's a better stamped image. Um, sometimes we just need to take a little bit more time to stamp our little images. Okay, so now let me pull out the stamp and cut and emboss machine because we're going to die cut all these pieces. We've got a whole bunch of things that we need to die cut. So let's do that. I don't always show my die cutting but I think sometimes it's important um, to do it on camera. Um, I've got my handle right here which will be off camera. That's it rotates and I just that's what um, moves this whole mechanism through. Um, for the die cutting you need your base plate number one, your thin die adapter number two, a cutting plate number three and a second cutting plate number three. Um, so I have one cutting plate number three down first. We're going to first work, let's work outer in. Um, this piece measures five and a quarter by four inches. It is balmy blue cardstock. And I'm going to use the Stitched with Whimsy dies, this biggest one. And we'll just pop this on here. And you know what? This is not going to be perfect. It's going to be a little bit off. Um, but that's it's supposed to be whimsical. Whimsical and not perfection. Okay, so I'll just run that through. 
usually I do this on a bit of an angle but so it's easier to cut a, a straight die like this through on a bit of an angle which I didn't do so you heard the big cook clunk the best way to do it is to kind of just do it like this like so the corners going through rather than straight on so here is the um, the stitched with whimsy piece so it's just gonna have that little bit of a dotted outline just giving it just a little bit of character and then we'll work in and we're gonna use the second largest scallop contour die and bring this back through this time I will put it on an angle so we'll do this and this is just a piece of basic white cardstock that I'm running through. And this will be our base layer or our focal point layer. It's just really lovely to have, you know, scallops and then there's a little stitching. It just adds a little nice little layer to it all. And then next thing we're going to need is well, well let's do the sheep next sheep is next we'll do all of our um so we'll just use this die right here and let me just bring that right around it's nice not to have to hand cut these little guys and then we'll run that through Okay, and we'll set this guy aside, and then we'll use do a sun shine. This is the ombre specialty paper. It's got sparkles in it, and it comes in four different colors. So it has kind of um, starts off with a really light yellow, and it goes to um, almost an orange color. So I chose more of the yellow. Yellow side of the spectrum for the sunshine. So I'll just pop the little sun on here and we'll run that through. And this is just going to give us a little bit of sparkle for that sun that I wouldn't have been if I had just done regular um, cardstock. So I'm just going to, there's little holes right here that allow me to release the dye. You can see the little sunshine and it's going to sparkle a little bit. Okay, we'll put that aside. And then finally, this fence. Now, if you do the fence, you can do it in two different ways. You can just go ahead and die cut it. Actually, I was going to do, let me show you. I want to show you the difference. I want to show you the difference between the two. So let's run th one through just plain, no ink. We're going to just run it through just with the fence. I want to show you what that looks like. Okay, here is um, the first one. And then I want to show you kind of a little tip that you can do with these dies that also emboss. So we have um, some, some embossed parts of this die. So I'm going to take, this is crumb cake cardstock, and I've got my crumb cake ink pad right here. Normally I wouldn't do this with my machine right here, but just because I have everything out, my die cutting machine, I don't wanna put it away. I want to ink up this um, die. Um, it's very hard to do it without a little help. Um, that's why I'm going to use a post-it note on the die to help pick up the die off the ink pad. So I'm just going to put my die here on the surface and put my um, super sticky post-it note on here. And then I can add this on here and just gently press my die into here just to ink it up ink 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 okay all right and then 
Okay, I got this on the wrong side. Actually, you know what? We can run it through the other way. So I'm going to peel this off really carefully to not disturb the ink. And I'll just pop this down on here, lift off. And now I'm going to run this through. And the ink should actually hit the little crevices. Let me pull this off. There we go. You can see the ink has gone into the crevices. So between the two, you can kind of see one has more definition than the other one. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, so you can do this with any dies that have uh, embossing on them. Just ink them up with an ink pad and that will give you a little bit of extra definition. And then, you know, you just need to, uh, if you wanna, before you uh, put this away, might wanna uh, just clean it off with a wet paper towel. Make sure it's really dry before you put it away. All right, I think we got everything die cut. That we need to die cut, believe it or not. That was like five different things we needed to do. But once we've done that, we've basically almost completed the card. So let's grab our little sheet first. Our sheet needs a little color. So I've got petal pink dark right here. And I'm just going to color the face of the sheep. And I'm going to omit the eye area. So we've got some white um, where the eye is. We'll do the little hooves in smoky slate dark. We also have black, uh, black Stampin' Blends, but I kind of just like the smoky slate because the black is like really super black. It, so um, by doing just the, the smoky, it just ends up being just a tad bit lighter. Now with the So Saffron, I'm going to use that to kind of highlight all of these little woolly elements. And I'm using the brush tip. And this is just going to kind of give it a little bit of color without adding too much color. Because the sheep is white, but I'm just adding just a little bit. You could also do this with gray or, or crumb cake too. I think So Saffron is just a really nice color to do that. This is the um, So Saffron Light um, Light Stampin' Blitz. Okay, so let's put this card together. We've got a card base in balmy blue. So this was eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it in half at the four and a quarter inch mark. And we'll take the stitch with whimsy and some Tombow. And we'll just ink that up and plop it down on here. So remember this layer was five and a quarter by four, so it's just a little bit inside of the card base. So for this one, I'm gonna grab my inked um, fence. So I'm just gonna kind of, before, before I glue this on here, I'm just going to stamp my greeting on here. I wanna kind of place my fence where I want it. And then I'm going to take the um, greeting, you're amazing. You could also turn this into a birthday card because the stamp set has a so glad it's your birthday uh, greeting as well and a balloon and a hat. And so you could really, you know, do some um, make it into a birthday card. I'm going to turn it into a Your Amazing card. Um, so I'm just gonna stamp this right above here. And then we can start to put this card 
or finish putting this card together. So then this layer needs to be glued down next. And I'll just add that to here. Kind of decided I wanted a little higher. Sometimes it's hard to tell. The best way to kind of make sure something's centered is if you stand right above it. Okay. And then we'll take this little fence, give it some Tombow. Okay. Such a cute little fence. I love it when they add like little extra elements that, you know, help help with the other images because you know this fence piece is such a, a cute little element to have all right I'm going to pop this up on the dimensionals I still haven't done the best part of the card the little wobble piece so um, that we'll do that last okay I've got a dimensional I'm popping the Sun up on a dimensional and then I'm just going to place the sunshine kind of up in the top corner here, just a little bit off here. Okay, so my sheep is going to be attached right here. Um, remember last week, I don't know if you were with me, when I made this cute little happy birthday box? Look, farm animals theme, right? Sheep dies. If you... If you didn't pick up the birthday, the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set and the matching um, birthday chick dies, that would be a good thing to purchase and then you can get the sheep for free. Cause it's, we've had a bunch of barnyard animals in our collection recently. And like, look at the little chicken. He'd go really well with the, the sheep, right? On your farm. Anyway, this box, I made it last week. You might've been there, watched my video. Well, this little guy is on a paper spring. I made this out of cardstock. Um, and so it's quite bulky like this is probably about an inch high. Um, and then it springs up and comes out of the box. Well, you can also use the same concept for creating a, a wobble for a card. But this time, instead of using cardstock, we're gonna use computer paper. So I've got two tiny pieces of uh, computer paper. And these are both, um, they're about maybe four inches long each. And um, they're uh, a quarter inch wide. The main thing to remember is a quarter inch wide. You can make them different widths as well, but mine is a quarter inch wide. And um, what we'll do, we're gonna glue them into um, an L shape. So let me just put a dot on here, dot. And just glue these into an L shape. And we're not gonna actually use the full length of this, but it just kind of helps to have, um, have enough length. So um, last night, this, where's my card? This wobble that I made um, was 12 high. <laughs> so 12 folds high. So let's do that again. So I like to fold over. So um, the um, whatever's on the bottom comes up to the top. So let's count one. And then we're always folding from the bottom up two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so I'm just folding over number twelve and then I'm gonna release it again, and I'll just put a little dot of glue. So really, you only need a dot of glue at the beginning and at the end. That wasn't too painful, right? And then you can just cut off the excess. And look, there's a lot left over, so you could probably make another wobble with, this, with the same um, strips that are left over. 
Okay, so now you can see, maybe you can't see. Now you can see it's got a little dimension to it, like it will spring up a little bit um, once it's released. At least the first one did. So what you're going to do, try and find the center point of your card. I can kind of see that maybe I wasn't quite at the center with this one, but it doesn't matter. It's still lifting off the page and it's it wobbles when I hit it. So that's the main thing that you want. And this one, I would say it's probably about the same width as this dimensional here. So um, just so you know, like when you're mailing it, it, it should go through fine. Um, and I got a lot of glue on that. So let me just take a little bit off so it's not so loopy. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this kind of right in the center of my sheep. Okay, you kind of see... There it is. There it is in the center. Just one little wobble and then one more dot of glue. I like Tombow for this because it's it's going to stay stuck, right? Tombow is pretty reliable. So I want my little paws of the sheep or the hooves of the sheep to kind of almost be springing over that fence right there. So. I'm kind of aiming my sheep to be there. And so I'll just put a pressure on there for a few seconds just to kind of give it good a good chance to adhere. All right. And now we've got our little sheep. They're so cute. And they, they really do spring up like a lot more. Let me do this. Um, you can see my son is on a dimensional right there and my sheep is on a wobble. So the sheep is really going to kind of be um, like off the page, like very dimensional. And the cool thing is it's like almost the same depth as a dimensional. So it's going to do the exact same thing in the card when you mail it, so it will be fine. But as soon as you take it out of the card, it's going to release and be very dimensional when it sits out. So I kind of like that um, fact that it's, you know, even if it's not wobbling all the time, it's got life because it's coming off of the front of your card, so to speak. So what do you think? And then if you were going to make this into a birthday card, then you could make one of the spring chicken boxes too. That would be so fun. Uh, if your friends like uh, cute farm animals, <laughs> Uh, I know I love cute farm animals. I well, I love all animals. I'm I'm kind of a big um, animal lover, so I tend to buy those uh, stamp sets and um, make cute things with them. So I hope you liked that. I hope you'll check out our celebration offerings this time around. There are some really great choices um, among them, and I'll be sharing them over the the next few weeks. Um, We've got papers that match products in the holiday catalog. I love how we have products, um, celebration products that coordinate with our holiday catalog. So that's a really fun thing um, that you can, um, you know, get. Um, we have a, a penguin bundle bundle in the holiday catalog, and in the celebration catalog, there's penguin paper. So, you know, you can get a lot of coordination with all the, the different products. So I hope you will check it out and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'm going to go back to the beginning and um, just read some of your comments. Good morning, Dee. Oh, you've got a cool day. Well, we've kind of got a cool day too. We, I woke up this morning. Okay, I have to do the conversion. I always work in Celsius, but it was in the 60s as well. So it wasn't that warm <laughs> for, a sun, for a summer day. Um, good morning, Karen. Thank you, Karen. I'm glad you like the card. Good morning, Janine and Ellie. Oh, Ellie, 50 degrees. That's kind of coolish. Um, Janine says, this is one of the cute 
sets Stampin' Up! has ever had. These sheep have so much personality and attitude. They're a hoot. I agree, you know, and they really coordinate well with some of the other stamp sets that we currently have, like the Hey Birthday Chick, um, uh, You're the Goat, I think, or Way to Goat. What's the name of that stamp set? Uh, Way to Goat, yes, this one. So you can have goats and you can have sheep and um, they they will look nice together. So, you know, it's nice to have images that play nicely together. And some of the dyes in the um, sheep dyes would look, would work well with the goat stamp set too, right? So um, it, it might be nice to get those dyes so you can use them together. Good morning, Cindy. Oh, you just got that stamp set. Um, yeah, it's a, I, I really liked, I really like the sheep. Okay. All right. Uh, Ellie loves the, the frames. Yeah, they're, they're really nice. Both of those die sets are really help frame everything up. Janine says, I just saw the die inking for the first time yesterday. It is awesome. It is. It just adds a little bit of depth and dimension. And, you know, if you compare my two um sometimes hard to see but the one on my card has the inking and the one down here doesn't and um you can still see the um die cutting but you can see it a little bit better when you ink up the the dies okay um Karen said she likes the box. Yes, the box is a, a fun little um, gift. So between the box that uh, has the spring and the card that has a wobble, that could be a really fun thing. Uh, oh, Cindy said she, she loved my uh, spring from last week. The spring technique, um, just using two different, you know, for the wobble on the front of the card, use regular paper. And for your spring, you need more depth. You want it to be bigger and wider and taller. So definitely use cardstock for that. Um, Dee says, one of her dearest high school friends is our personal shepherdess. So this card would be perfect for her. Oh yeah, yeah. It, they are really, really acute. Both of them, a cute uh, stamp set and a die set. So this month I do have a host code. This is my August host code. And this month um, I am giving out some adhesive backed stars right out of the Holly catalog with a $50 um, purchase um, or should I say a minimum $50 purchase. So that should be pretty easy to do if you're also getting a celebration product. You get rewarded by Stampin' Up! and you get rewarded by me. Those stars get mailed out um, the following month though. So don't expect them in your Stampin' Up! order. They will come directly from me in September. So that is my host code up there for, for August. And you can also choose one of my tutorials free with a minimum $15 purchase. So. Um, I hope you take advantage of that because that is, um, it's always nice to get some free things with your order. Um, if you enjoy this, I hope you will um, join me on Friday. Um, on Friday, I do a live on YouTube at 10 a.m. Eastern in the morning. And on Friday, I always do either a fancy fold card or I do a 3D design. So something fun and different. And I'm going to be using the new holiday catalog products or maybe even throw some celebration in there. So make sure you check it out and um, uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and uh, so that you can get notifications of when I'm going live there. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. If you're not already part of Casing Tuesday, um, you can also join that group. Um, we share our cards that, that we did. So this is the card that I did um, based on that original card that I shared for you with you at the beginning. But you can definitely share your card layout. So look at my layout now. And this was the original card. And maybe now you can see kind of where they have that greeting. That's where I put my fence. 
So, you know, you can see the stitch with whimsy die on that one. So you can kind of see how I took the bones of that card and created a new card out of it. So you can do that too, and you can join us on Casing Tuesday and post your card and share it with us all. We would love to see it. All right, guys, have a great week. I hope to see you Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.